Hey guys, what's up? John here from fly8mikealpha.com and it's about that time, another two minute Tuesday. Let's talk five different types of altitude. Where to go? Okay, the five types of altitudes you need to know for your written and possibly your check ride. If you don't know all five on the check ride, probably not a deal breaker, but definitely important to know for the written, you gotta know them. Okay, so let's just run through the list, right? Easiest one, indicated altitude. What does this thing indicate? What does that tell you right there? What is the altitude? Okay, whatever this says, that's your indicated altitude. Really simple, may not be accurate. You may have the setting wrong or maybe broke and cause we're definitely not at uh, you know 10,000 feet right now, it's broke. Uh, next one, pressure altitude. Another really easy one, just tune this thing into two nine or nine or two. So take that right there and just simply twist it over to 2992 and guess what, you'll get your pressure altitude. According to this thing, we're at about a 10,000 foot pressure altitude because you got the little hand pointed to the one and this is pointed all up there. It looks like you're at zero feet, but you're actually at 10,000. According to this, and it's wrong. Uh, next one, pressure altitude is just something you're gonna use to calculate density altitude. So that brings us to density altitude. What is density altitude? Well, it's the most complicated one there is because you're like, what? I've never heard of density altitude before. If you're not a pilot, it may make no sense. But density altitude, in the simplest term, is the feels like altitude. So feels like altitude, well, right now in Florida, it's about 85 degrees outside. It feels like 98 degrees outside. Means it's really hot, I'm gonna sweat a lot, I'm not gonna perform very well, I'm not gonna be able to go run 10 miles in this 85 degree heat that feels like 98. So that's what density altitude is. You might be at 5,000 feet in Denver, but on a really hot summer day, it may be a density altitude of 8,000 or 10,000 feet, and the airplane doesn't perform as well at those higher altitudes, okay? So whether you're a Cessna or you're a jet, you can take off at sea level, down where the air is thick because there's higher pressure, and the airplane will climb out really well. The engine breathes well, the propeller grabs a lot of air, and there's a lot of air for the wing. You get up high, 10,000 feet, 20, 30,000 feet, not so much air up there. Ask an astronaut, there's not almost any air way up high where they are. So due to gravity holding the air on the earth, the gravity's not so strong the higher up you go and the pressure drops. The other things that affect density are temperature, okay? So the higher the temperature, the more the gas expands, the less molecules there are. Drop the pressure due to weather, you know, barometric pressure dropping, and now the molecules are even further apart. So you could be at sea level in Sarasota, Florida on a summer day, but it's a hot day, so the air expands, so it's not very dense, and maybe there's low pressure moving through the area, there's a storm coming through, so instead of 2992, it's below the standard pressure. That's going to create a high density altitude. The airplanes not can perform as well. Airplanes perform great in cold weather when it's nice and dense, don't perform so well in hot weather when it's not so dense. So that's what density altitude is. Just remember, it's the feels like altitude. Next, moving right along, we've got true altitude, okay? So true altitude, very similar to indicated altitude as long as you set this thing right, okay? So if you set it to the right setting and the altimeter is working and you read it, it's gonna tell you how high you are above sea level. So if you read it, it's true. If you read the newspaper, that's true, right? Whatever you read is true. I mean, there's no such thing as fake news, right? We are fighting the fake news. It's fake, phony, fake. So if you read it on here, and this is set correctly, that's your true altitude, that's your height above sea level. So now bringing us to the next one, absolute altitude. What's absolute altitude? Well, absolute altitude is absolutely important to you as a pilot because the number one goal as a pilot, if you don't already know this, is don't crash your airplane, don't hit stuff, right? Absolute altitude will help with that. So if this thing, the true altitude and indicated altitude are both 5,000 feet, meaning you're 5,000 feet above sea level and it's showing 5,000 feet, it's all working correctly, but you're flying in Denver, you're not 5,000 feet above the ground. You're probably just skimming the treetops at like 50 feet above the treetops. Your absolute altitude in that case would be 50 feet. If you're in Florida and you're flying over the beach and it says 5,000 feet, then your true altitude is 5,000 feet. Your indicated altitude is probably 5,000 feet as well, and your absolute altitude is 5,000 feet because you're 5,000 feet above the beach. So absolute altitude, 
absolutely important don't hit stuff. True altitude is basically what you read, it's how high you are above sea level. You read it, it's true. Indicated altitude, you see it, it's really easy to figure out. Density altitude, it's the feels like altitude, pressure altitude, dial this thing over to 2992, read it, whatever it says, that's your pressure altitude, that's it for us. Hopefully that was two minutes, it probably wasn't. It was probably a lot more than two minutes. If I didn't throw them like that, they probably wouldn't break so easily. Either way, guys, you know what to do. Like the video if you do, subscribe if you have not already, get more training tips, and if you really wanna pass your check ride, private pilot, instrument pilot, commercial pilot check ride, go ahead and sign up for the online courses at flyatmikehealth.com. If you have any questions on this video, you can leave it in the comments below, or you can post your question to flyatmikehealth.com. One of our CFIs will get back to you. And when you take those ground schools, the private pilot, instrument pilot, or commercial pilot ground school, online at flyatmikehealth.com, we guarantee you will pass your check ride. The link is in the description below if you wanna go ahead and check it out. That's pretty much it for me. You guys know what to do if you can't fly every day. FlyMikeAlpha.com. We'll see y'all next time.